Hey, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and today I'm really excited because an idea pops into my head. I want to share it. That's kind of how these things go. We're back with another blender experience showdown of the sorts. Let's see if this thing is possible. There's something that I've always wanted but I have never gotten yet and I keep holding out for it because uh, I have no counter space as you've seen in previous videos and also expenses. But could my blender be a juicer? Like, is it possible that I've just been sitting here with blenders all these years, not realizing that I could actually be juicing with it? Now, yes, there's certain things about um, blending versus juicing, like having the whole fruit or not, or losing all the nutrients once you blend it or juice it, et cetera, et cetera. We're not even gonna touch that in this video. I'm gonna be trying this juicing experience with my Ninja Nutribullet, which I previously featured in my Magic Bullet versus the Nutribullet video. I have that, uh, I'll link it down below in case you're curious. But I wanna see, like, this is a high-powered blender. Like, what else could we do? I'm going to go out to some farmer's markets. I'm gonna see where I can get like the cheapest fruits because you will use a lot of the produce in order to make these juices so I'm like is this cost effective like you know me budget lifestyle channel I don't know if there's a secret out there to finding the farmers markets with the good rates but the days that I was looking around for stuff it was not working out like Google had me on a wild goose chase trying to find out where these farmers markets are and then when I went they didn't have the produce that I was looking for so I ended up going to like Trader Joe's I did find like a fruit stand on the street and honestly those are the best prices like I got lemons three for a dollar I want to know if anybody's in the city like where are you getting your cheap fruit at are there more stands that I should be going to is there a true farmers market I didn't go to the Union Square one but um, maybe I'll try that in the future. It just happened to be a day that they weren't around. So I gathered up my fruits and vegetables from Trader Joe's. I spent about 25 to $30 on this produce. I do hope I can get a lot out of it. Let's get into it. I'm gonna show you my very first experience, testing it out, and let's see how it goes. An immunity juice, if you will, with some turmeric, black pepper, oranges, lemons, ginger, and carrots. I'm just gonna roughly peel them. I compost anyway, so it's not like that big of a deal, I guess. And then, since again, this is not like an actual juicing thing, I'm gonna chop this up a little bit finer than I think other juicing things would be. I quickly started to realize that I was overfilling this, so I'm slowly learning my lesson. This is like either gonna be a win or a fail. This reminds me of that that sweet potato pie that I was doing. Oh my gosh, okay, now let me add the water. I 100% don't advocate for overfilling your blender because it could lead to overheating and all of that bad stuff. So don't do what I'm doing, but just still watch. I'm absolutely pushing it with this level, but let's see what happens. We're gonna worry about this later. I don't know which one it should be, but let's just see what happens with pulsing. Oh. Yeah. I switched over to the smoothie button so that it would run on its own, and then here's me just um, dumping that into the compost, and I'll just put it back in my freezer. Okay, let's see what we're working with. It's looking very chunky. Okay, things are getting out of hand as you can see like on my shirt. I see now why people want like cheese gloss and stuff. So I just looked on I just looked up one on Amazon. It would only come by Tuesday, today's Sunday. But I remember I have these and I wonder if this will work. These are these bags that I got that were supposed to be for when you're um grocery shopping and you want to just put um, your fruits and vegetables in them. I like gotta be resourceful. I'm not giving up the fight for this. So I'm gonna put this pulp that's already just looking chaotic in here. I don't know why I'm doing it like this. Okay, oh my God! So there is so much more and I almost was just gonna throw this like pulpy stuff out, but there is more. The only thing I don't like about this is they have to have like a good grip. I think that's all we're gonna get out of this. 
Okay, this might actually be like a lot considering. I'm representing the more clumsy people, but just know that this does not have to be a messy process other than the straining. So this is like about what I have left where I just feel like I can't squeeze anymore just because of the grip. I'm gonna put it in my little compost bag. Okay, so I washed everything up and I'm gonna put this back in here so that you can see how much this made. I just need to show my cheesy grin because I feel like I just did the coolest thing in the world. There we go. So it was over 16 ounces. So that's pretty impressive. What was that, 20 minutes of excitement? If I don't want to drink this all right now, I can just do it. Um, I can just put it in my water bottle, but 16 ounces, that's really good. Hmm. It needs some ice, but I really taste the ginger a lot and the orange a lot. I'm so excited, fresh juice. I've got two of these and I will be making some juices today. I don't know the size of this because I don't know milliliters. I'm sorry, I'm that person. Today I actually wanna make a green juice. So I'm thinking kale, the green apple that I have, and then ginger again. So let's hop in and try some more juicing. The way that I love green apples, I was pretty much eating them while trying to also make this. Um, I still ended up cutting them down into smaller pieces. I know I have a high speed blender, but I just wasn't sure. Just wanted to make sure that obviously we don't overheat it. But going through the same things, got the apples, cutting down the ginger. I use a lot of ginger. I just really like it. Um, and then I decided this time around, obviously, I should go with doing the kale first so that it wouldn't take up so much space and then going back in and adding the others. Looks like we hit over 16 ounces once again, and now I'm just going to store this and move on to the next one. Okay, so now it's getting faster and faster. It was actually much easier to strain that. I don't know if that's just like kale versus like oranges, but, and I also now know that this is over 16 ounces. I'm actually gonna put this in the refrigerator since it gets a little warm from blending up, but yeah, now I've got some green juice. This time I'm gonna do apple, kale. I have some frozen pineapples, which will maybe keep the drink cool, which would be nice. And then I think I'm gonna use half of a lemon. I don't think I need the full lemon for this. I just feel like, I guess I'll save a little. I'll be modest about it. I do not want to start making like larger quantities so I can have them over time. Okay, much better lighting. Also like, where did my summer tan go? <laughs> it's so long gone. To me, this tastes like a good green juice. Like, it's more ginger and like green in the background. That's how I feel, personally. I feel like I taste greens and ginger, which I feel like I've had a drink like that somewhere. Oh, Jamba Juice. Oh my gosh, this is Jamba Juice, but like not. Jamba Juice has a greens and ginger, and this is that like same vibe, but like much more thin and light tasting, I would say. Like this feels very airy and not like heavy and weighted with, I don't know, extra ingredients or so. This is definitely like the new thing that I'm doing. I'm so freaking excited. <sighs> I feel so happy right now. Now I need to really stretch because I just like killed it in the gym. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. Okay, here's today's menu for my juices. I got this strainer thing on Amazon. I'm like instantly regretting it because it's basically like the strainer that I crafted myself. Um, so I have a feeling I'm gonna run into some issues, but we're gonna try it out and if it doesn't work, I'll just return it. Okay, back to the usual, although now I'm cutting my oranges a little bit more convenient to myself. I end up only doing two oranges and two apples because I was overfilling my blender again. Ugh, just trying to figure out the right balance for it and I realized that it was a no-go, so I had to dump everything out and then put it back in um, and that was much better off, so just me and my lack of awareness on that. And then this ended up being an absolute fail. I immediately was like, this is not gonna work and went back to the good old mesh bag and made my juice. Let's just pretend that this isn't an awkward background. I just got back from the gym and there's construction out where the beautiful bright light is. So we are in here. I didn't end up having time to drink this juice yesterday. So I'm drinking it today. 
It's so tasty. Is this the new thing? Is this the new thing, y'all? I like cracked the code that maybe other people knew, but I didn't know and I'm so excited to share it with y'all. We can juice with our blender. Oh my gosh. So the contraption that I had from Amazon was not worth it. I think the best thing that you can do is use those mesh bags. My mind is blown. Like if there's nothing that I love more, it's like fresh juice. And the fact that I now know how to make that on my own, I didn't have to go out and make a big purchase. So if you already have a blender, it's possible. Based on the other videos that I have up here so the blendy blender pro the magic bullet that I have the blend jet 2 and now this Nutra one obviously the Nutra ninja one is gonna be the best because it's 1100 watts so it can really like crush and have all this power and stuff like that but the little ones I would say that the magic bullet probably could do a really good job it, it's just gonna take like a little bit because it is smaller and I'll probably have to do one ingredient at a time but if you have the magic bullet, I challenge you to try it out because I think it would be possible. In terms of cost, I realized, like I said, I spent about 25 to 30 or 25 to 35 dollars, but from all the ingredients that I used this week, that was about, I made like four-ish juices or so. I have a bunch of produce that I can use for a whole other week, so I would say that the amount that I spent would cover two weeks. If I was being very budget conscious and I wanted to set aside $50 for produce to make about, what, 16, 16 ounce juices in a month, just like, thinking and basing it off of what I did here, that's really good. Like, I can do that. Four juices a week or so. Obviously, if you want to make more, like, have at it, but, um... It seemed based on my blender size, I kind of kept hitting around the 16, 18 ish range of uh, ounces of juices. So I'm here for it. I'm going to keep doing this. Comment down below if you already knew this and you're like, I've been doing this already. Um, or comment if you've never heard about this before. When I buy these juices myself, like in the city, it's usually like seven dollars and above i would say seven dollars to like i think the highest i paid is like 11.95 <laughs> so the fact that i could just make it myself really works out for me let's have a conversation down below stick around because there might be some more similar videos like this coming next week maybe you can guess comment down below if you think what i'm gonna do uh that's kind of in the similar realm of the straining and the product in the blender or the juicer or whatever Let's see if you can guess what I'm going to try next week, and I will see you there. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.